Hello everybody, Bryos here and today we're looking at one of the more classic Macs of the franchise and this very sexy, very recognizable Mac is the 70 ton Innersphere Battle Mac, the Warhammer and this variant is the 6R, the Warhammer that was given free a few months back earlier in 2021 during the monthly free Mac event so some of you probably have this in your Mac Bay and the Warhammer 6R is one of the best variants because it can just do so many different yet effective builds. And talking about builds, today I have for you a build that, well, honestly isn't exactly popular in tier 1. And I'll tell you why when we get down to Mac Lab, but it's still effective if you know how to do it. In fact, some people will call this an oversized bushwhacker. So what build am I talking about? Ladies and gents, I present to you the Rack Hammer. That's the Warhammer 6R with two rotary AC5s and five tons of ammunition for the rotary AC5s is sufficient for quick play, two light PPCs as backup weapons with a total of 14 double heat sinks with a light fusion 300 engine to give it a very decent speed of 69.4. Not too fast honestly but fast enough to move from point to point for an inner speed mech that is. And let me talk about wrecks. So wrecks are not exactly high tier weapons. If you go to tier 1, tier 2, you'll find that wrecks are kind of frowned upon because they do sustain damage and that means SDPS, that means sustained damage over time. And when you hit the enemy, they just uh, the experienced player will just toss a twist and spread the damage around the whole mech. And because you have to keep your rectical on the enemy as you fire your wrecks, you can't really twist away return fire. So the enemy, if they're experienced, when they get hit by your wrecks, they'll twist also, aim at the center of the blinding light and just alpha you. So yep goodbye to you so yeah but at lower tiers it probably will do pretty well so there is this build also has two light ppcs and that's to assist with the flaw of the rotary ac5s rotary ac5 has several problems as i mentioned earlier it spreads damage it also has a ramp up and a ramp down time a jam time actually and these light ppcs fire fast i'll tell you why soon and they can fire in between those or, or rather during those lull times so as the enemy suddenly appears, uh, your rotary AC5s can't fire, there's a ramp up time before that guns actually shoot out the first bullets and your light PPCs can shoot during that time. And when you jam, you still have two light PPCs. So this is a pretty well-rounded build. For an experienced player, you say the Bushwhacker can do this build sort of and you are entirely right. Hence, this is not a top tier build but it's an effective and fun build as you can see from the gameplay because once you get the enemy in your sight and they don't know how to deal with rotary AC5s you're going to wreck the enemy and that's why I think this will probably do well at lower tiers like tier 4, tier 5 that's why I'm sharing it with you guys and if you're wondering why like PPCs as I mentioned other than pinpoint well this mech if you look at the quotes here it has a PPT velocity 20%, PPC heat 5%, energy heat for a total of minus 10% total, and a cooldown of 10%. So those light PPCs fire pretty fast. You'll be surprised how much damage they can do. Just two of them combined with the wrecks. And a lot of structure quirks for the Warhammer. Uh, I don't think the Warhammers have been adjusted during the quirk pass yet, uh, but it's not too bad. It allows you to soak a bit of damage, a bit of return fire. So that's it, ladies and gents. That's the Wreck Hammer build for you. So let's get down to the skills. One thing about um, Rotary Auto Cannons, they do build up a lot of heat. Um, so as usual, I'm going for lots of heat gen skills. And being the main weapons with 5 tons of ammunition for the Rotary AC5s, I'm prioritizing 2 nodes of magazine capacity. Also 2 nodes of enhanced rec here that will reduce the jam duration because your Rotaries will jam. Along with other things like the heat skills, this gives me a heat reduction of 10.5%, cooldown decrease of 8.25. For, so for your, it doesn't really affect your rotary autocannons, this cooldown, but it will affect your light PPCs. So combined with the quirk, your light PPCs fire 18.25% faster. Not too shabby. With a range boost of 11% and a velocity boost of 6% for everything. As we go on to survival, I put in 18 SPC into survival. As I said, you will take a lot of return fire mounting wrecks, so it's best to pile on the survival skills, going to the left side mainly because of armor. And with that, we have a armor bonus of, let me just find it, it's somewhere here, there it is, 12.8% and a structure bonus of 9.3. You can actually shift all these uh, SPs to the other side if you want, because actually the Warhammer 6R has structure quirks, so you can actually go for the right side here. 
And this is the structure nodes. The left side is the armor nodes. But I do prefer armor because once structure is getting hit, you are in trouble anyway. So, yep. So moving along, I've got zero in mobility. I sacrifice mobility for survival because of the face time necessary for Rex. Anyway, for operations, 20 SPs is the standard for five nodes of cool run for 10% heat dissipation and five nodes of heat containment for 15% increase in heat capacity. And moving along, we also have 0% for sensors or rather zero SPs in sensor trees. Uh, this actually saves quite a lot because radar deprivation is probably useful, but I'd rather just take cover. And 11 nodes for auxiliary for two strikes and two cool shots. We've actually increased concentration of strikes with enhanced spotting and the cool shot cooldown helps a lot, allowing you to spy the second cool shot 25% faster because the heat does build up on this build. So that's it, ladies and gents, the Warhammer 6R, the Rack Hammer for you guys, Racks for sustained damage over time, and the Light PPCs for pinpoint rapid firing damage. And so let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you this mech in action. So let's go. And here we find ourselves on River City for the very first showcase match. And in this particular match, we are deploying on the west side. That means we tend to be the ones attacking. So we should go for either the Golf 7, that's the most common, or if the team goes left, we should hit for Fox 7. That is a bit more aggressive and requires more coordination. So in this particular match, we will be doing the Golf 7 push. And one thing about this match, I am dropping in a four-man group in terms of full transparency. And yeah, so this was also streamed live on my Twitch channel. Um, the link is in my description below. So feel free to check it out. So I'm going to leave you to the Twitch comms, which can be a bit messy. And let's get down to the gameplay. I think coming from the left. Online. Yeah, if they're pushing our f by Fox line, just let us know. Golf 7, we got a few targets. I have two strikes. Override Hot engaged. bills, I'm gonna override a bit. Who oh, is this in the water? Oh, it's FD. He knows what he's doing. Target spotted. New target. Okay. Target spotted. What's going on? Is there an event somewhere? Target acquired. Watch out for the New Zealand Hotel target 7. Spotted. New target acquired. Bravo. I can't see shit. Today is bad gameplay. This UZL is causing me problems. I'm moving up. Go move forward a bit. Let's go. Focus our efforts in Golf 7. I'm sure. Yeah, if you can get the Uzil, that'll be nice. India, go for its licks. Damn it. Golf, Stalker. Golf, Golf, Golf. Target spotted. Affirmative. Fox Rod, next target. Watch it, I'm overheating. Fair enough, though. Juliet is charging. Let's focus on Juliet. Friendly cicada. Juliet. Base is being captured. New target acquired. Target spotted. No, it's not. Still there. I wish it were. Target destroyed. Target spotted. 
Now he is. Oh, 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 why are you standing in front of me? I've overextended. Run away! No, 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 no. New target acquired. Yeah, golf. Yeah, we have this. Let's just mop up. Lie, lie, lie. Which means come. Everybody's blocking. Catapult, don't block. Farm damage. Oh, Michiko gets the kill. I, I got shot. Right, supporting. Golf six. Yeah, get the UAV. Don't worry about it. Target spotted. Golf six, box six. That's where they are. Good book boys and any ladies. Ooh, okay, learn boat, learn boat. Got a bit of pinpoint in the light PPCs here. Can see shit. Stupid use it. Hey, Black Ace, hello. Welcome. One medium, Fox 7. Oh no, but I want to shoot that guy. I want to kill the learn boat. No, no, no. Damn it. Target spotted. No, oh, Michigo. Everybody's blocking me. Deny me the kills. Gotta get a shadow cap. I should lick this guy. Excuse me, excuse me. No, you're not going up. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not dead. He's there. This is a fun build. Not the most effective. Rex and higher tier games are not so good. Yep, good luck with it. Right also. Should be around the corner. If I were him, I'll still be here. But I'm not him. Tuggy, hello. There you are. My light PPC lit you up. It's not a commando. What kind of ID do you have? No, he's going to FaceTime the assault. Nice. I actually ran out of ammo. Oh, ho, ho, I got him in the rear. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, that was a good game. 12 3. It's a stomp. Actually, ran out of my wreck ammo. 1001 damage. Oh no, this is a good match for me. Utterly. Wrecking the enemy? Yeah. Look at FD and I. Oh no, FD. Look at the FD. 1001. This wreck build. 1001. Yeah, lower tier games. This build rocks. So as you could see from that last match, this build is capable of pushing out tons of damage if allowed to and that's something that is pretty hard to do at the higher tiers as I mentioned before and that's courtesy of the Rack 5s. But as you notice, if you're watching carefully, the Light PPCs actually did quite a lot of work adding that pinpoint damage just when you need it and especially when your guns jam, the enemy push you, you have something to do. But right now, we come to the second match. Yet again, I'm dropping in a group. This time, it's a mixability group. And it's River City yet again. And this time, we are deploying on the eastern side. So previous match was on the western side, where we push forward. And now, we're on the eastern side, so where we defend Golf 7 or Fox 7. Depends on which side they push. So anyway, with that being said, yet again, this match was streamed live on Twitch. So I'm going to leave you yet again to the Twitch comms, um, which are always messy and random. But uh, yeah, I hope to get, see yeah, you guys on my Twitch channel. I, let's I, drop I, by I, and connect I, with the community. So back. let's get down to the game. Oh, the King Crab's gonna charge. Got a King Crab. Oh, six. Brawler build spotted. He probably will charge. I've got two light like, PPCs for this. Hotel six. Acquired. Lots of targets. Like Delta. Affirmative. Delta's a ER large laser boat. Dire. Very painful. Artillery strike online. Target spotted. Friendly meme, baby. Are you all learns? Is he? 
Who is the mean baby? New target acquired. Degadi, are you all lurks? Target spotted. New target Negative. acquired. No, oh, okay. That's Rams and Stubbs. Ooh, okay, watch out for the Dyer, Hotel 6. Acquired. He's boating your large lasers. Guys, Hotel 6, please. We already lost one. New target acquired. Heat wreck! Hotel 7? What is this? Aight! Aight! Okay, there it is. No wonder he didn't move forward. New target. Target spotted. Need assistance. Hotel 7 is being pushed. New Two heavies coming acquired. in. And I run! Online. I run behind Annihilator. Excuse me? Dagger? No, Dagger! A split second slow. I'm the wussy today. One hotel. New target acquired. Yeah, I'm fighting a Hotel 7. They are pushing hard. I'm stuck in the rain. I hate Rex. The lack of burst is insanely irritating. New target acquired. Gotta position a bit further in. Echo is hurt. New target. I can't shoot because the annihilator is here. Focus on the timbers. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, he DC. Poor guy. Gonna farm damage. No. Target destroyed. Yep. Hotel eight. Hotel seven. That's all defend. Just don't give them. Don't. Don't. don't Stop shooting me. Golf is in trouble. Drill it right Target torso. Spotted. Redeploy. Redeploy. New target acquired. Oh, wrong button. I see you. There is a die wolf in the water. Hotel New 7 in the 7 board. There's two of them there. Target destroyed. I, I got a pre. Run the Rex. New target acquired. Oh, Renna Cap gets that kill. KMDD for me. Let's push Hotel 7 to India 7. Yeah, that's the tire. Lights. New target acquired. He wrecked him. Nope, nope. Got a shield. New target acquired. Oh, oh shit. Stupid momentum. Stupid terrain. Run away! Excuse me, Renekev, you can go for Yeah, that's their last ten. Target Just push. Spotted. I'm ready called CT. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target spotted. Like PPC work time. People need to draw aggro so I can wreck. Target spotted. It's Will. Like this guy. I'm not doing optimal damage here. But damage is damage. Well, we can just pull back. Lima, left torso. Left arm also. Target spotted. Running low on ammo actually. So let's charge in. Let's go, let's go. All charge. Optimal range now. Nice access. Oh, I didn't get a kill. I ah, know my CT. Okay. Ah, oh, Will gets me. Well done, Will. Well done, Will. 961 damage. No kills. I guess I did some damage. Rex really do damage. Ah. Jesus, look how many glazers, these guards glazers he's got. How do you fit all that on one? Carefully. Drag and drop. He's in the barrier. Yeah, you guys got to charge him together. Left also going, CT going, Axis goes down, charging him alone. We're just feeding Will here, you know? Uh, command to ground, range. <laughs> We're detecting no more hostiles. Good job, soldiers. 
So Will cooked himself getting axes. So yep, twelve seven. I died. It's okay. Let's look at the match call. Four for eight taken. Not too shabby. Only three components. I just spreading damage everywhere. That's what Rex do. Five five three. Decent. So ladies and gents, that's it for this video on the Rack Hammer. And I do hope you enjoyed this build. So if you have nothing better to do, give this a try. It's fun, it's effective, and yeah, the sound of gunfire is always nice to hear in the morning. So till next time guys, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Take care and ciao.